You live here? Yes. Well, maybe you know what a zombie is. When a person dies and is buried, it seems there's certain voodoo priests who, who have the power to bring him back to life. How horrible. It's worse than horrible because a zombie has no will of his own. You see them sometimes, walking around blindly with dead eyes, following orders, not knowing what they do, not caring. You mean like Democrats? You know... Sometimes a gift just gets dropped in your lap and you have no choice but to, well, acknowledge what just happened. You all should need to know that America is not sending their best and brightest, you know, to Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. Yes. Did he really just say that? You all should need to know that America is not sending their best and brightest, you know, to Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yep, he said that. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty. This is the Afternoon Drive. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you are a subscriber to the channel. Once you are, smack the bell. That gives you notifications, allegedly, of my rants, my ravings, and of course, my undeniably flawless reasonings. And then please like and share this video. That's how we get the word out that we're here. Welcome to the Afternoon Drive. The junior senator from the Keystone state of Pennsylvania, John Fetterman, was a mayor of a city that he literally bankrupted into the ground. And there's no one that lives there anymore. You can look that up. He was lieutenant governor of the state. Now he's brought his Uncle Fester hoodie look to Washington, D.C. Now we all know that he suffered a debilitating stroke. He was apparently coming out of the men's room on his way to a campaign activity when his wife noticed he was having a stroke. Um, we certainly don't wish any ill will on anyone that has a, an ailment or an illness that is brought on that is certainly no fault of their own. But this nonsense that he's completely fine, everything's okay, nothing to see here, everything is a-okay. So he was on with Stephen Colbert when he made that incredibly insightful and yet totally missed you because he was doing his best, you know, to do his own little stand up as he was sitting there in his hoodie and shorts this little you know oh you know washington's not sending the best and the bright you all should need to know that america is not sending their best and brightest you know to washington dc uh -huh. yes. yes have you looked in a mirror lately john because that's a very Freudian slip that you just gave there, my friend. Anybody that needs a speak and spell to be able to communicate with others is not necessarily the best and the bright. Now, I'm sorry that that comes across harsh. I'm sorry to some of you that sounds mean, but that's a reality. And we literally have millions and millions of people their lives, their welfare, and their well-being is at stake because of people like this. Now, look at how long that we allowed the Democrats to wheel Senator Dianne Feinstein around, who was completely out of it, had no idea where she was, literally losing control of her own bodily functions in public, yelling at people, berating people, just over saying good morning to her, trying to give speeches in the Senate when they were standing there telling her, no, just vote yes, just vote yes. So, she didn't even know what she was voting for. She was not in cognitive control of herself at all. But they wanted to keep her there because Nancy Botox Pelosi didn't want Gavin Newsom to appoint someone that would cut off Adam Schiff for brains for being able to run for that seat. And then John Fetterman. Well, we certainly can't have a Republican come in from Pennsylvania. And it doesn't matter that, you know, he's completely lost the ability to think and cognitively respond in real time and we've got to give him I don't know if that is a like the super eight ball that you shake it and and he can kind of like sound out the syllables and mumble an answer back to whoever's interviewing him but when he said to Stephen Colbert look this this device let's let's me communicate like glasses help you no wait if I have to wear glasses 
because I have an issue seeing, it doesn't mean I have an issue thinking. If I have to wear glasses because I have an issue of being, whether it's nearsighted, farsighted, and that it, 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 it clears my vision path, that is not the same thing as clearing my mental faculties. Even a senator who has had something like a heart attack may not be able to physically run from their office to the well of the Senate, but it doesn't affect their cognitive thinking ability. Not only did John Fetterman have this stroke, but shortly after his arrival in Congress, he was gone literally for months because he was depressed and he was getting help. Again, I do understand something about depression. As a pastor, I have helped multiple people. I have had family members that have dealt with depression and needed help. And that process from a stroke to depression, you're talking about not weeks and hours worth of, of, of healing. You're talking literally months and years. Gone from the Senate. Not able to take care of any of the people's business. Just totally depressed and needing help. I'm glad he got help, but that doesn't change the fact he is not mentally cognitive up to the job. The funny thing is, is right after his release from the hospital, the mental ward, the depression unit, there he was in the hallowed halls of Congress sucking back a beer. Um, I'm not much of a drinker myself. But I, I, I think I seem to recall that um, alcohol is a, uh, oh yeah, it's a depressant. So why would somebody who's depressed drink a depressant? I know, I know, there I go making sense again and clouding a perfectly good argument with um, facts. So John Fetterman stating that Washington isn't sending the best and the brightest. I mean, that's so good. I got to hear that again in his own words. You all should need to know that America is not sending their best and brightest, you know, to Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. Yes. John, could you possibly mean like this? And now I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here. And he is here to commit to work with the, the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick, fast as well, too. Uh, the Republicans want to give a, a work requirement for SNAP, you know, for a, 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 a hungry family has to, to have these this kind of penalties or these some kinds of word working uh, required. Shouldn't you have a working requirement after we sell your bank you, with billions of your bank? Because they seem to be more pre preoccupied uh, when than SNAP uh, and requirements for works for hungry people, but not about protecting the tax, the tax papers, you know, that will bail no matter whatever does about a bank to crash it. Gentlemen, Ciccolini here may talk like an idiot and look like an idiot, but don't let that fool you. He really is an idiot. What do you think the biggest cause of inflation is? And should the Biden administration be doing more? No, I, I just do. I, I think the, uh, that simply is also we have this talk about the trillions in, in massive tax uh, tax uh, cuts to the corporate uh, tax uh, structure as well. True, you know, trillions of dollars that have added to the deficit, and and now th they still want to support those as well. True, sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. This is why we're dealing with what we're dealing with around the world. This is why Joe Obama Biden has been allowed to get away with literally living a grift with his son through funneling money from Ukraine back to himself and now in turn supporting the oligarchs of Ukraine. And I am sure that he and his son are getting kickbacks on that. Once we really get some real investigation going, we've got uh, Hamas and Israel on the brink of creating World War III for all of us. We have a border that is to the point now that even the president is quietly rebuilding Donald Trump's wall. You've even got Arnold Schwarzenegger going on The View saying, we need to build an impassable wall. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Screw your freedom, Arnold. No, screw your freedom. And here's Fetterman. And he's our gift from the state of Pennsylvania. When we need men and women of courage and character and the ability to think and process in real time because of what our nation is facing right now, and this is what we get, Uncle Fester in a hoodie. You all should need to know that 
America is not sending their best and brightest, you know, to Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. Yes, 